As a medical student in Nigeria, Femi Adewuyi was known for his love of photography. But when the COVID-19 outbreak started, the newly graduated doctor found himself on the front line at the Yaba Isolation Center in Lagos. I spoke to Dr. Adewuyi about what his work entails. So I volunteered to be able to document the pictures and to tell the behind the scenes stories of what happens in the hospitals. They were short of doctors and I volunteered to assist with the, with the care of the patients. What has been the most challenging part of your work? It's quite challenging when you have to break bad news to people. It's also challenging when sometimes you just don't have the, the amount of resources that you, you'd prefer to have. So what kind of medicine are you using to treat your patients at this isolation center? Okay, COVID-19 doesn't have a confirmed cure at the moment. So we typically give supportive therapy. So for those who have a fever, we give them paracetamol. For those who, have, um, who are vomiting or having diarrhea, we treat that. For those who have difficulty in breathing, we place them on oxygen. So in other words, uh, patients don't exhibit the same symptoms? There are a myriad of uh, symptoms. Some even lose their sense of smell. Some lose their appetite for, for days. So we individualize the patient treatment. Is there counseling for recovering patients and their families? Yes, there's a psychosocial team that uh, talk to doctors, talk to patients, they're even the ones that break the news to majority of the patient because getting to know your COVID-19 positive is a lot. Is there any possibility of one who has recovered getting infected again? I, there's a particular patient that we are treating right now that looks as if he's been reinfected. But we need to do the test and be sure it's a reinfection, not malaria or another respiratory infection like pneumonia. How many patients are you able to accommodate and how many are you as doctors caring for them? Another wing of the isolation center has been opened, a 150 bedded facility. But previously we've had about 25 doctors taking care of 100 patients. Another wing of the hospital has been donated by the private, uh, the, the, a private consortium. So the, it's called CACOVID by Aliko Dangote, banks, and a few other private individuals. They built a 150-bedded facility. So we're expecting more doctors to come join in the fight. Do doctors ever give up on a patient? Do you see a case where you say, I don't know what else to do? So when I see such patients, I'm, I know the odds are against them, but I try to make sure that the last moments they spend with their family are, are something to remember. What is it, doctor, that you would like people in Nigeria to know, people in the world to know about COVID-19? Uh, from your own perspective, having worked with people at the isolation center there in Lagos. Okay, but there are still places in Nigeria where people don't believe that COVID-19 is real. I passed through the market a week ago and nine out of 10 people were not wearing face masks because a good number of people do not have respiratory challenges to COVID-19. A lot of them just have fever, generalized weakness, and a bit of malaria. A good number of people assume that it is malaria, but people who are asymptomatic and have these symptoms would not assume it's malaria. Do you as medical doctors have sleepless nights about what you see every day? A lot of people assume doctors do not have emotions, that's a false assumption. So uh, I, there are times I have to take a break and just walk out and shed a tear before I come back and continue my work. But doctors have emotions. We have sleepless nights. We ask ourselves those hard questions that what could we have done better? And there are times we also suffer guilt. So you do get together as doctors and talk about the challenges you're facing. For instance, as we speak, one of my colleagues, a doctor, has been diagnosed COVID-19 positive. So she is in the isolation center. We're caring for her. It's a lot of emotional trauma that the healthcare workers also go through. What makes you wake up every day and say, I'm going back there. I have to help these patients. So if we all run away from 
fighting, if we all live in fear, then who would fight for us? So am I afraid of COVID-19? Am I afraid of getting infected? Yes, I am. But the fear doesn't paralyze me with COVID-19. So let's not leave the fight just to doctors or to the government. We can all find creative ways to make sure that we move forward and we win this battle. Dr. Femi Adewui is a frontline doctor at the Yaba Isolation Center in Lagos.